Aikijutsu is a dynamic combat method developed by generations of samurai for close quarters fighting, expanded over the centuries to include arrest and restraining techniques. It was and remains a fighting method without equal. Sokaku Takeda, born in 1860, a swordsman and master of Daito Ryu Aiki Wujits. His teachings form the firm foundation upon which all present day Aikido is based. Minamoto no Yoshimitsu, born in 1036, is credited with the invention of Aiki Jutsu. Minamoto no Yoshi, also known as Hachiman Taro, was born in 1041. This is the Battle of Kawanakajima, fought in 1561 between the armies of Takeda Horunobu on the left bank and Ushigi Kagetora on the right bank. A famous retainer of the Takeda family present at this battle included Toromori Obata, a distant relative of the author Toshishiro Obata. A page from Heiho Okugi Sho, which was written around 1580 by Yamamoto Kansuke. A retainer of Takeda Shingen. This shows ancient jujitsu methods involving joint locking and evasive movements similar to the modern Ikkajo, Nikkajo, and Irimi techniques. A rare photograph of Sokaku Takeda as a young man, taken in 1888.
Sokaku Takeda's ability was greatly admired by the police and military. And throughout his life, he was much in demand as a teacher to their officers and men. He is pictured here with a group of policemen. The picture was taken in 1898. Osaka, 1939. Sokaku Takeda with his son, Tokimune Takeda, in the center. And senior student, Takuma Hisa, pictured on the right. Tokimune Takeda, the present headmaster of Daito Ryu Aikijujutsu. He is the son of the illustrious Sokaku Takeda. Sokaku Takeda was active until the time of his death, and as can be seen from this photograph, retained much of his strength despite his advanced age. Shown here is a meeting of Judo and Jujutsu teachers held at the Buto Kukai Martial Arts Academy in Kyoto, Japan on July 24, 1906. The meeting was called to formalize the kata, or formal exercises of judo, and was held in an atmosphere of intense rivalry and mistrust between the older schools of jujutsu and the emerging Kodokan judo movement. A judo club in Tokyo around the turn of the century. While the younger students are practicing techniques that are similar to modern judo, The older students are practicing striking techniques, or ateme waza, which are no longer a part of the judo repertoire. Morihi Ushiba, a student of Sokaku Takeda. Ushiba developed from Daito Ryu Aikijujutsu, the modern form known as Aikido. Morihei Ushiba is pictured here in 1916 as a student of Daito Ryu Aikijujutsu under Sokaku Takeda. This document is the permission from Sokaku Takeda for Ushiba to teach Daito Ryu Aikijutsu, providing he take only people of good character as students. It also states that Ushiba pays a joining fee of 3 yen for each new student to his teacher. These pictures show Morihi Ushiba demonstrating the striking techniques of Daito Ryu Aikijujutsu. Gozo Shioda was a student of Morihi Ushiba for many years before the last war, when Ushiba was still teaching Daito Ryu Aikijujutsu. At this time, he taught in a similar manner to his own teacher, Sokaku Takeda, and as a result, his school was known as Jigoku, or Hell Dojo. The change to the soft style Aikido did not take place until after the war. Gozo Shioda still teaches the combat effective methods he learned during the pre-war period through his own Yoshinkan Aikido organization. Samurai Aikijutsu is designed to be used with this video production. For detailed instructions of each technique, it is recommended that you refer to the book. Shiho Nage.
Sajo.
Kaji Dori. times, the correct method of sitting oneself, especially when in the presence of superiors, was in scissor fashion, with toes tucked beneath the body, back straight, and bottom resting on the soles of the feet. The samurai, being professional fighters, quickly developed methods of dealing with acts of violence when seated in such a manner that were effective, yet allowed them to restrain transgressors without rising to their feet and thus insulting their lord. Long swords were not allowed indoors, and thus attacks, when they were made, usually involved a knife or a short sword. Aikijujutsu techniques were taught only to the highest level samurai. This gave them an advantage over the lower level retainers, which they jealously guarded. The skilled samurai could restrain an armed man without causing him injury, and this degree of technical excellence was very much admired.
一課長あて。
Karami.
to Aikido and Aikijutsu, the past, present, and future. For subscription information, please write to this address.